Sportsman's Adventures with Captain Rick Murphy, presented by Yamaha. Yay! And you got Go great guys! That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> Look at that now! He's a good one. There you go! That's what we came here for, the gag grouper! You didn't get away from me, dog! This is a beautiful fish. The Gulf waters are deep here, 200 feet and more, but the strike is still hard. We're testing not just tackle, but muscles too. Hold on him, Brent. Captain Rick Murphy teams up with local captains Ryan Kelly and Brent Ramitti for some Mexico beach offshore bottom fishing. Somebody's home. Hey, welcome to Sportsman's Adventures, and I'm down here in my home in the Panhandle, Mexico Beach, in Port St. Joe, and we came offshore with Captain Ryan Kelly and Brent out of Blue Water Outfitters, and they promised me that we're gonna catch some big fish offshore here, and this is my first bite, and we'll see what happens. Oh, I Feels like somebody been pulling on my string, Brett. <laughs> I see it. We got color. You got color? Is it red color? What color is it? What you got? Little hey, red grouper. Hey. Hit red water. grouper. Man, what happened to his eyes? He looked like Marty Feldman. <laughs> <laughs> Brett. I got a good one over here, Captain. Do you, bud? I'm gonna slide back. We're gonna be back to back fishing. I'm gonna keep my <laughs> keep my bait in there. What'd you what were you what'd you put down for bait, bud? A grunt. You did? Oh. <laughs> now Brent, let me ask you, what other species of fish do you catch here in Gulf County and Mexico Beach? We have Mahi, we have Wahoo. You got uh, you got swordfish deep. You got uh, you got white marlin um, off on the breaks. You got amberjack real good throughout the year. Uh oh. Of course your grouper and snapper. Uh oh. I thought I was getting a bite. And then inshore. Inshore you got great redfish, amazing trout, flounder, triple tail. It sounds uh, like to me. Spanish it's... mackerel, pretty much anything you want. We got it. And then you got tarpon, obviously. You got tarpon, May good tarpon. June, run. July, or July, August. Sounds like to me, y'all are like a best kept secret. Oh, that's there he is, right the color. gag grouper. That's a good kept secret right there. <laughs> wow, look at him, man. He's not too happy. He's sticking He's his not. tongue out at you. He's not happy about that. Good job. It's a good fish. Good job. We're coming out of. Nanny, nanny, nanny. 200 plus foot of water here. Yeah. So they're gonna swell up like that on you. That's some good eating. Good eating. Now let me ask you, you know, got great restaurants here in the Panhandle. How do you want to cook that? I mean, certainly you guys are world famous for your oysters in this area, but how would you want to cook that? Me personally, I'm gonna make it into a grouper taco, but okay. a lot of guys like the, fr you know, the fried grouper, but uh, it's good broiled. You can even stuff it. Grouper fingers. Grouper fingers. It's you know, I mean, it, it, it's hard to beat fresh fish, isn't it? There's a bite. Come on. What you got there, Captain? I don't know. It's definitely a pulling on my string, though, Bob. You know, guys, the key to fishing down and dirty and deep is you gotta reel and get the slack out of the line. I'm using this cushion to keep from wearing a big hole in my belly. Some guys like putting a, 
rod butt up underneath their arm. I don't like that. I like being able to put the rod tip, but rod butt down low, just below my belt on my hip. It's <laughs> a long you, way down. <laughs> 200 feet, pretty deep there. He's got you winded, doesn't he, boss? Yeah, man. You know, it's hard to talk and crank <laughs> at the same, the same time. time. <laughs> Now let's talk a little bit about the best time of year to fish for these groupies, Brent. Well, our season starts in July, um, and it has a little overlap with Red Snapper. But me personally, after the after the sun cools cools down a little bit in October, is always a great time to go fishing. Late, I consider that a late season. Um, you know, when it runs to October the 31st. Uh huh. So you got real good. Another red grouper here. This is a beautiful fish. Boy, barely hooked. Look at that. Barely hooked. That circle hook got him right in the face. He ate a little grunt. Awesome. What makes Mexico Beach such a special place is, I mean, we've got the beach and we've got the pier and we've got the canal and we've got all that, but unlike many other places, we have over 150 artificial reefs that have been built uh, since 1997. Um, that are really amazing in terms of what they've done for fishing and diving in this area. When we started building in 1997, there were really were like one or two spots out here, and that was about it. And we started with a group of volunteers, and we worked and raised money and had a kingfish tournament, and we wrote grants and did all kind of fundraising, and now we've passed a million dollars. We've, we've sunk over a million dollars worth of reefs. Why does this reef system work well here? Um, one thing I think we've done as an organization is we really concentrated on, on research and development as well as just, you don't just go out and throw reefs out. We now know what works, and that's the difference. I mean, how you put them out, where you put them out, the distance between the reefs and the reef structures and how many, the density of those reefs, those all make a difference, and we've figured that out over 15 years. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Catch the latest at Rapala.com. Williamson for the Pelagic Playground. Maverick Boats, Fish the Legend. Minn Kota, anywhere, anytime. Humminbird, simply, clearly better. It's 200 streamlined horsepower of Yamaha forward thinking. The all new F200 inline four stroke. Whether you're an offshore angler, pontoon cruiser, bay boater, or walleye hunter, the responsive and fuel-efficient F200 combines amazing power and versatility in one incredibly compact and lightweight package. The all-new F200. Legendary Yamaha reliability and the freedom of forward thinking. taking you where the fish are, but now the silence is about to break. With the incredible new iPilot Link, your Minn Kota and Humminbird can communicate with each other, so you can hold on a spot like an electronic anchor, record and return to waypoints and paths, follow any Lake Master depth contour, and more, all automatically and all from your Humminbird or the Link remote. They talk, and you'll be speechless. Revolution continues. Faster, drier, even better built. Designed around Yamaha's latest technology outboards. Still built by the same craftsmen and anglers that launched the Bay Boat Revolution. Whether chasing world records or time on the water with your family or anything in between, there's a new Pathfinder model for you. Pathfinder, number one for a reason, still. You already know about the La Jolla Resort in Isla Morada, so let's talk about the La Jolla experience. With an on-site boat ramp, the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic is just minutes away. And when you return from fishing, there's barbecue pits to cook your catch while your family enjoys the pool or one of our new remodeled rooms. This historic resort, the La Jolla, is family owned and operated and has a friendly staff ready to make your La Jolla experience a really great one. Mexico Beach is definitely one of our favorite fishing destinations. 
This picturesque coastline town is located in the Florida Panhandle along a beautiful stretch called the Forgotten Coast. Mexico Beach is a waterfront community where big homes and beautiful boats line the waterways. The area is famous for its white sandy beaches where water sports are king. The local fishing pier attracts fish and fishermen, but the Mexico Beach Marina is the true fishing headquarters here. This full-service, family-owned and operated marina prides itself on offering great customer service with a focus on true Southern hospitality. If fishing is your thing, then it's local knowledge that you need. On the dock or out on the water, they can guide you to your best options. If you're looking to buy a boat, no problem. Mexico Beach Marina is a licensed boat dealer and the ship store offers everything you could possibly need for a day on the water. Got a visual. <laughs> what you got, Brent? Uh, I don't know. Well, come on, reel him up. I want to see him. Quit messing around. I know what you got. You know what? I know what you got from a hundred feet away. You know what you got? You know how I know? That rod, you got a bend in your rod. That's what you got. <laughs> a big bend in your rod. Now what's on the other end, I can't tell you. But you it feels got a, a bend little snapperish the way it's snapping back on me. Oh, I like it. A man who's gonna go out on the limb at 150 <laughs> feet. That's cool. That's cool. Now guys, if you're not sure exactly where we are, Port St. Joe, Mexico Beach, we're basically about two hours, an hour and 45 minutes to the southwest of Tallahassee. Another red group. Or we're probably maybe an hour due south down Highway 98 from Panama City. So that gives you a general idea of where we're fishing. Now we're fishing out of Mexico Beach Marina. A good buddy of ours, Nate Odom, he's hosted us the last year with the Red Snapper Show. And I gotta tell you, it was so good and so much fun here in Gulf County that we had to come back. He ate that We got him jig. double jigged here, double hooked. I think your theory's right about that, uh, that color cal powder. calico crab, man. You're catching just as many on the jigs as I'm catching on the on the, on the, the bait. bait. Exactly. Don't walk off or you're going to end up jigging me, man. We got the, the leader inside your plier holder there. Okay, now we're good. You can go. Good job, Brent. You That's another man. taco. That's another taco. Tacos for everybody. Tacos for you. Tacos for me. Tacos for everybody. As long as them groupers keep coming on the side. There's something wrong with his rod and reel. It's pulling back. <laughs> Dang. Hey, now let's talk. <laughs> yeah, let's talk. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> you know, you guys, not only do you have great fishing here in the panhandle, but what else is there, Brent, for people to do? If I bring the family and they don't want to go fishing, what can they enjoy around Mexico Beach and I Port St. Joe? I tell you, right on the other side of Mexico Beach, headed back towards Panama City, uh, is Crooked Island, and it's pretty much a local hot spot. We really don't talk about it too much, so I, I'm letting the cat out of the bag, but there's fantastic kayak fishing there, great inshore fishing from the beach. You can walk along the beach right there for many miles and never see another person. You can run your dogs there, pick up sand dollar shells. Kayaking is amazing right there. Um, there's just so much you can do. There's, there's a state park right over here on the other side of the Cape, which is uh, Cape San Blas. And it's the same way there, you know, you kayaking, biking, trails, all day long, just, just sitting on the beautiful sand out here is just amazing. It's one of the cleanest beaches that you're ever gonna come to. There's so many things that you can do. You can go parasailing, jet skiing. I mean, there's just tons of activities outdoor. If you love outdoors, this is the place for you. It sounds like you guys are the king of all the water events because you'd have everything. You've got great beaches. You got great water. Look at this, look gag. At this gag, and you got Go great gag groupers. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> look at that now. He's a good one. There you go. That's what we came here for, the gag grouper. You didn't get away from me, dog. This is a beautiful fish. Captain Ryan has put you in the spot.
The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission wants your help in removing lionfish from Florida waters. Interested in helping? Lionfish can be speared or caught in handheld nets, and a recreational fishing license is not required while targeting lionfish while using a pole spear, a Hawaiian sling, or handheld net, or a spearing device that is especially designed and marketed exclusively for lionfish. If you get stung, treat the wound by immersing the area in hot water for 30 to 90 minutes and seek medical attention as soon as possible. Although complete eradication is not likely to given the current range and distribution of the species, localized control is possible through consistent and sustained harvest pressure. To learn more about lionfish evasion and what you can do to help, visit myfwc.com slash wildlife habitats and click on non-native species. Hold it right there. The Minn Kota Talon locks you onto a fishing spot with unmatched speed and stealth. And when Mother Nature tries to knock you off your mark, hit back with the strongest hold on the water. Talon, stand your ground. Hi, I lost a big fish earlier today. Wasn't using suffix. <laughs> it was uh, about this big. Look, slow down there, cowboy, okay? A fish in the lost of him, huh? You want your fish. Sorry, honey, that fish is gone. Always use the best line, suffix 832. Welcome to the Inner Circle. Rotating coverage up to 300 feet gives you a detailed 360 degree view of structure, contour changes, and fish. So you can see them before they see you. Introducing 360 imaging, only from Hummingbird. I got my first Yamaha in 1994 and I still use that outboard in the Bahamas today. This Yamaha 130 has over 2,000 hours on it and it sometimes sits for six months. I can always depend on it starting and performing like it did when it was new. Everybody knows Yamaha stakes their reputation on reliability and for me, that Yamaha 130 is living proof. So if you're considering a Yamaha, I can tell you that reliability and performance is something that you can count on for a long time. You know there's more to it than luck. There's fishing the right bait, the water temperature, the wind, the season, and then there's the boat. We'll put it simply, the boat matters. To own a Contender is to own the best sport fishing boat on the market, period. Contender offers the most comprehensive model range with bigger, faster, and more fuel efficient boats than the competition. There's only one choice for serious anglers. Contender Boats, performance through innovation. Better pull on him. Don't let him get you back down there. Don't let him get you back down there. No. Oh, 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 we're going to have a double header. Whoa. Whoa. What you got coming? Dad. Oh, Captain Ryan, quit playing around. Dang. This is a big fish here. If he, brought, if he put me on an armor jack, you're going to see me whoop his little... Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. Y'all going to... I'm going to get a breath, get a sip of a Diet Pepsi, and commence to putting feet on his ass. Oh! A long ways down there, 210 feet. Uh, I have a feeling it's AJ. 
Here we go, no talking. I can't talk. <laughs> That's all I can do to try to get this fish up. Oh. It's an amberjack. Is it? Don't tell me that. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, boy. The reef donkey. Without the reef. The bad news about these guys is they don't, their bladder doesn't blow up. They fight you all the way back at the top. And what I got too. My dear captain. Oh boy, swing and a miss. That's not a miss. Now you guys like to eat those, right? Yeah, that's a good one. Good job, bud. Now what? Smoke them. Smoke them a lot. Smoke them. Yeah. That's how you like them. Smoke fish too. Come on, Brad. No. Oh. Come on. Good fish here. Yeah, yeah I'd say so. Oh. Come on. Pull on him, Bubba. Letting the rod really do most of the work here. Come on. You know, hey. we haven't talked much about tackle yet. I know it, but don't <laughs> just wait on that. Because, hey, now look, watch what he's doing. As the boat goes down from the waves, he winds down. As the boat comes up from the waves, he uses that as a pump. Guys, you can use that as helping you synchronize when to reel, when not to reel. Well, you better pull on him or he's gonna get you. Come on, come on. Uh-oh, there's line going in the wrong direction there, Pop. <laughs> Stay with me. Can't do this show without you. <laughs> but I mean, we're using big baits. And obviously we're out here on these drop-offs where these ledges go from 200 to 230 to 220. Another place that we were earlier, we were in uh, 190 dropping down to 205 or so. That's where you have a transition of bottoms is what's gonna also allow you to catch these fish. As far as miles offshore, we're not gonna tell you because I don't want Ryan to get upset with me because I wanna actually come back with Ridge and Colin and catch these with him. Enjoy some time on the beach. Wind down there, Pop. That's it. Doing good. What you betting, Reef Donkey? I don't know, maybe. Well, come on, man. Reel this thing in. Quit messing around. Come on. Keep reeling. I'll help you. Come on. They don't give up. That's the one thing about these ages. Whoa! -ho! Look at that, AJ. They don't give up. Come here, Bubba. You just lip him like a bass. You know? Oh! You got him? Yeah, I got him. I think. He got me. Look at this. Dang. That's a good one there, Bub. Oh, look at that, big AJ. You know what they say? Welcome to the house of pain. I'm feeling pain <laughs> right now. Dang. Well, I tell you, these are great fish to teach somebody how to wine in deep water, you know? Coming out of 230 to 250. It takes some while, too. Yeah, it does. And you guys really like to eat these things, huh? I like to play them out and smoke them up and make a good fish dip out of it or make a good fish sandwich out of it. We got color. Yeah, Amberjack. That last one. I hope it's the last one. Dang. Beautiful, beautiful. There ain't no 
nothing pretty about that at all, Cap Ryan. <laughs> what you talking about, beautiful, beautiful? <laughs> There's nothing pretty about that. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, I don't care what they say about you. Little men come in big packages, baby. That's right. <laughs> I love it. Good job, man. What a great day of fishing. Thank you so much for bringing me. I enjoyed it myself. You know the best part about this? What's that? I ain't run out of gas money yet. Mexico Beach has become a special place for us. Our friends at the Mexico Beach Marina have always welcomed us with great Southern hospitality. Thanks, Mexico Beach, both the people and the fishing. You always make this a great sportsman's adventure. Check out the Sportsman's Adventures website at sportsmansadventures.com. Coming up next week on Sportsman's Adventures with Captain Rick Murphy. Because we catch them in the Everglades National Park, but they're not this big. Well, this is the time of year the large females show up. Just before they're getting ready to, just before they're getting ready to run down south. <laughs> Look at that, Fred! That's a bumble <laughs> there, man! Sportsman's Adventures was brought to you by La Jolla Resort, a place for families and fishermen. Costa Del Mar, see what's out there. Trigger X, Trigger the Bite, Ameritrail, Custom Trailer Manufacturers, Contender Boats, Performance Through Innovation, Suffix Lines, the world's most hardcore fishing line, and VMC, your expert in hooks.